Okay, let's get started. Select menu, and let's start with the front panel here. This slider adjusts the backlight for the main panel. This slider here adjusts the lights for the backlights of the buttons. This enables and disables the lights on the front buttons. This snap to tune step, uh, I have it enabled, and if I double click on something in the waterfall, it'll take me to the nearest 100th hertz because that's where I have my steps set to. If you enable the use VFOB knob as uh, for VFOA's RIT and uh, XIT, that will. Uh, let's go to the next in the settings here. This is the radio. It's got the model number, your serial number, nickname that I've nicknamed mine, so that when I'm on my network, I know which radio I'm looking at. Uh, it's got the frequency offset and so forth. Also it has down here a 10 megahertz reference. Uh, there's a there's one built into the radio but also there is a uh, GPS board that you can buy and have in, and install into the radio and that will keep your radio right on frequency. The function buttons we kind of talked about that before. I have my F1 set as my call sign and F2, 599 thank you, and F3 I have a split. Some people were talking about it was, it was tough to split the radio. There are two different ways of splitting. Uh, one, you can set one of your F keys as a split. Also another way you can do is just to hit the, uh, the VFOB button up there and it automatically gives you a 5 kilohertz split on sideband and a 1 kilohertz split on CW go back to the menu but I have a uh, F4 or excuse me uh, F3 set as my split so if I hit the F3 button it also would split the radio I'm not going to show the network settings it's got my IP address and stuff the audio settings here uh, just kind of self-explanatory you got your master volume for the speakers you have your headset volume for your when you're wearing headsets you can do, I have the front speaker disabled because I use a set of uh, stereo speakers and it seems to sound better for me. I can't say this word that well, binaural audio. Uh, when you're wearing a pair of headsets, it helps uh, to hear better with the headsets uh, with binaural audio. Um, this is where you can set up your slices as far as your AGC and so forth. Um, to slide the the pan, you can pan down on some of these if they've got a little uh, bar on the side. This is where my receive equalizer is. I have it enabled. I, I actually use some equalization for my receive because I got some hearing loss. On the transmit side of things, you can set your tune power level. You can uh, set a, if you have an amplifier that uses an ALC, you can enable that. I don't have one that uses ALC. Uh, you can show the, your transmit and waterfall. I don't do prefer to do that, but if you do, you can enable that and see your transmit audio in the waterfall. Uh, set your maximum power output. If you have uh, an amplifier that may not want to see more than 50 watts, or if you feel safer just setting the radio at 50 watts, you can. Uh, you can set up your transmit uh, keying lines, the, re the relays for auxiliary, uh, RCA, Transmit 1, RCA Transmit 2, and RCA Transmit 3. I have two amplifiers, so I use RCA Transmit 1 and Transmit 2 for those two separate uh, amplifiers. Both amplifiers don't need any delay, uh, so I don't use that. This is also where you could disable your radio uh, transmit. Uh, so if that's enabled, uh, the grandkids can't uh, transmit on your radio. Again, you can slide up with the the slide of uh, the uh, touch screen you can see your transmit equalizer and uh, set the settings for like if you're using the RSA input or auxiliary inputs <coughs> for transmit phone and CW this you can select level meter during receive I have it enabled right now so what that means is if I'm looking at the level meter here and I tap on the the, uh, the microphone here, I'm not transmitting, but I could set my audio level 
for the microphone. And you don't want it to go into the red. I, I actually use a different microphone. I just use, I grab the hand mic for the demonstration of the level. Now the level meter won't work uh, when you're in when you got your DAX turned on. I found out so you have to turn the DAX off to set your level levels. You can uh, go through all the different meters by just tapping here and bring up the level meter. Also down here there's a button you can bring over some meters. Um, you have uh, sometimes you can duplicate the meters. Uh, they've been talking about adding some other meters like maybe a voltage meter or what have you. And over here is your display settings. I didn't know if you all knew where that was at. Uh, most of mine are set as default. Um, go back to the menu here. This next one down is the transverter settings. That's where you'll set up a transverter for 2 meters or for 40, what have you. I don't have any transverters. Profile settings. This is where you set your mic profiles up. Uh, one thing I noticed is when you first get the radio, it, it's set to just default uh, right here, and it won't transmit at all with the microphone. So you need to come in here and set it to the uh, default microphone so that you can use the microphone that came with the radio. Uh, up here you have global um, profiles. Once you get stuff set up the way you want it, you can save a, a global profile, name it what you want to name it. And that way, if you want to go back to that band or that mode or whatever, you just click it and click load and it takes you right back there. Now the settings are ready to go. The next one down here is your memories, kind of self-explanatory. You can create a memory, name it whatever you want to, put it in a group you want. USB cables. Uh, this USB cable screen will be blank unless you plug in a USB cable that has an FTDI chip in it that uh, will register what time of chip and it will show you all those settings. The GPS, uh, I don't have that board installed, but if I got the board to install it, this is where I would do the final installation of the GPS board. Uh, what a GPS board does is help keep your frequency dead on frequency. And uh, that's pretty much it for the menu. Uh, let's go over a few more things on the, front, the face of the radio. Again, you can change your meters. What I like to do is use the second uh, meter over here as an SWR meter. So when I'm on VFOA or Slice A, the uh, second meter acts as your SWR meter also. So you can have your level meter, your power meter, whatever on this side, and then have your SWR meter on the opposite side uh, when you're on that uh, VFO or Slice. Uh, also, as I mentioned before, you can. I have mine set up to where if I hit the F3 button, it automatically sets the split. Hit it again, it goes away. Um, so it's pretty easy to set up the split. Another thing that I would like to cover is is when you're uh, setting up your power level or whatever your mic gain. You can also get that menu two ways. You can select. Just hit the power button or power readout up here, as I found out. And you can select whatever here that you want to as far as your um, mic gain and, and so forth levels. Or you can also use the um, button over here. When you push in on it, it uh, turns that on and off. Or you can select it again right here by tapping on the power. And that's uh, something we just found out. So uh, another thing I'd like to cover is your antenna selection. So over here, when you select the antennas, it'll bring up the RF gain. Uh, right now it's set to about medium. Normally on the low bands, you want to actually set this to a negative dB. Right here in the top right hand corner, it'll show you what your uh, gain for the um, preamps are. Right now that's a, a 8 dB attenuation. The next uh, point is normal. There won't be any readout here. The next point is 8 plus 8 uh, dB. And the next one is uh, plus 16. The next one is plus 24 and plus 23 and that's it. So normally I run it on normal or negative uh, dB attenuation unless I'm on 10 meters, 15 meters, even 20 meters maybe you might want to use a little bit of gain 
uh, on the higher frequencies, but on the lower bands, you definitely want to go to a little bit of attenuation to get rid of some more of the noise. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.